Today marks the final day of the job on the job for more than 1300 workers in Belvedere. Stellantis announced back in December it would idle the Belvedere assembly plant. The decision also impacts area businesses that supply parts to the company. Hundreds of those workers have also been laid off. The job losses come on the same day Stellantis announces it's spending $155 million to produce electric vehicles in at three plants in Indiana. There were hopes something similar could be brought to Belvedere. Liza Wolf worked for Stellantis suppliers. She too lost her job and says waiting has been the worst part. Something that shouldn't have taken so long became forever and then we were never given anything. So that was really hard, the waiting for months to be able to know what we were going to build and that we were still going to prosper and be there. You know, we, we didn't want to leave our job. We, we all wanted to retire there. We were happy there. This morning, the United Auto Workers released a letter blasting Stellantis leadership for shutting down the Belvedere plant. In part, the union said, quote, it is notable that while Stellantis abandons this community after being part of it for almost 60 years, the corporation has benefited from numerous and generous subsidies, federal loans, grants and tax abatements, all paid for by U.S. taxpayers. All of this done by a global company which looks to the U.S. market for 48 percent of its revenue. Local organizations are working to help employees, not just from Stellantis, but all of the suppliers that also closed, find new opportunities. There is a hiring event March 9th at the United Auto Workers Hall.